Hi my friends and welcome to Yoga with Yemi. Today's sequence is for artists or anybody who wants to open their shoulders. I'm a painter myself so I know when you paint sometimes your shoulder and neck area can get quite tense. So today we're going to do some loosening up for the shoulders. We're going to be in the standing position so you can do this anywhere on your floor with just a little bit of space around you. Let's bring the feet hip width apart, spread your toes apart. It's good to be barefoot here and soften the knees a little bit so there is a feeling of sinking into the feet. And we're going to swing the body here from side to side, just a simple swinging movement that's called the ragdoll. And as the name says, the movement is floppy, just like a ragdoll would feel or look when you move it or swing it around. Important here to let the arms flop against the body. Let the head, the arms and the torso move together. So it all, smooth, all moves into the same direction at the same time and also sink into your feet and soften your knees so you can swing and have a momentum from side to side and deep breath here and that loosens up the shoulders the neck and the spine it's a nice little warm up or loosening up anytime. Let's come to center. Let's take a breath. And we're going to keep the feet just as they are, the same distance, but point the toes out a little bit and bend the knees so we go into the horse stance which is a feeling of sitting on a horse or in a saddle and that also gives a relief in the back. We're going to drop the head forward and very simply going to roll the spine down. Imagine your spine, your vertebra moving one at a time downwards, arms are hanging loose, the head is hanging, the torso is hanging and so at some point you're going to touch the floor with your hands bend your knees liberally so you can touch the floor and we're going to go back up keep the knees bent keep everything hanging focus on your core pull the belly in to stack the vertebra up on top of each other and we come back up, shoulders back, chest forward, deep breath. And let's go again, drop the head, roll down. And with the repetitions, the body starts to open, the spine starts to get a little looser, the shoulders start to release and hang. Let the hands touch the floor. Take a breath. Wiggle the head, make sure it's loose. And this time we're going to make a figure eight movement from side to side with the arms. Dragging the hands along the floor and drawing a figure eight. So really loose. This is called elephant swings its trunk. And imagine an, a trunk of an elephant, how it feels. Really floppy and loose. And we're going to start to roll up again. Pull the belly in. Use your core to come up. Keeping the movement going though. Keep that side to side movement till you come all the way up. And shoulders back, chest forward, deep breath, feel the body sinking, it's a sign of relaxation, relief. 
Now let's bring the feet together about an inch or two apart. Again, spread your toes. Lengthen the legs now by the little softness in the knees that protects the knees. It also protects the lower back. So it's a good habit to get into even in your everyday life to soften the knees, protect your knees and your back. On the inhale, we bring the arms out and up to shoulder level. Point the fingers, stretch the arms away from the spine. Inhale, point. Exhale, turn the palms up. Inhale, down. And exhale, up. So you want to point the fingers so the arms and the fingers are stretching. And at the same time, we are rotating the shoulder joints. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Just feel the movement in your shoulder joints. Inhale up and exhale down. And inhale up and exhale down. And this time we let the arms float to the sides. And take a breath. Maybe you can hear the sound from the outside. We just have a Florida rain event here, quite intense. And let's take another big inhale out and up, hands touch. And exhale, float the hands down in front of the chest all the way to the belly and release. And we're going to draw the shoulders up to the ears and then roll them back and down. And forward and up. And back and down. And forward and up. And back and down. And we go backwards now, so back and up, and forward and down, so opposite rotation, back and up, and forward and down, back and up, and forward and down. And relax, you can wiggle the hands and arms and shoulders, the head. Always breathe. The breath helps us to release the tension and it helps to relax. And inhale out and up. And exhale side to side. I'm watching the rain. <laughs> inhale, squeeze the shoulders up. Exhale, drop. <sighs> inhale up and squeeze it all together and then let it all go. <sighs> Yes, inhale up, exhale, drop, one more time, and relax. And this was our shoulder opening for artists and anybody with stiff shoulders and a stiff neck helps to release that upper part of the body. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions, please go to yogawithirmi.com. Also find my class schedule on there and other offerings, including private sessions. And I hope I see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.